What's up everybody? This is Motor Merc coming to you from sunny Southern California. Uh, I don't have my bike today because I'm feeling a little under the weather. Just decided to cage it to work today to take it easy and get some rest. But I still want to make a video because I have a, a topic that I don't want to delay posting about for too long. As you can see uh, by the title, this video is about a moto vlogger named Mordeth13. I'm sure most of you have probably at least heard of M13. Uh, he is widely considered to be the grandfather of moto vlogging. He's the one who, uh, I guess, he's the first and biggest guy to jam a camera in his helmet and ride around and talk to himself and call it moto vlogging. So that's kind of a big deal. And he's been doing it for almost a decade, I suppose. Maybe more than a decade. I don't know when he actually started. But uh, he's the one who got me interested in getting a motorcycle. He's the one who got me interested in moto vlogging in the first place. And by God, that was, yeah, almost seven years ago now. So really, I can say that uh, M13 changed my life. I like to think for the better. Uh, but anyway, uh, the purpose of this video is to let you know, if you don't already, that Mordeth 13 was in a pretty bad motorcycle wreck. He uh, actually might have been a scooter, I'm not sure, but he was definitely in some kind of two-wheel wreck. He was leading one of his now famous tours, Taiwan uh, two-wheel adventure tours, and he got into a wreck and now he's in the hospital and it's looking pretty bad. Uh, he's alive. He's conscious. He's well enough that he was able to make a Facebook post and a, a new YouTube video from the hospital to let everybody know what's going on, so that's good. Uh, but the fact remains that his livelihood has always, well not always, but for the past several years, revolved around motorcycles and motovlogging. So now that he's immobilized in the hospital for, you know, months and months and months, uh, he's lost his ability to make income. Uh, so he's in a bit of a fix and uh, he's asking for help that's pretty much the bottom line and i am here to spread the word on that because i think he deserves our help and i'm going to tell you why first of all he's a selfless member of the motorcycling community selfless member of the moto vlogging community he always wants to share he's always very open he wants to help the moto vlogging community grow. He likes to interact. He likes to engage. He's just a good guy, a, a positive member of the community, I think. And uh, just for that, I think he's worthy of at least recognition. Um, but beyond that, you know, he advertises himself as kind of an asshole, a jerk. And he comes across as sort of a sarcastic guy but if you've been following him for, you know, I've been following him for, like I said, seven, like about seven years. And if you've been following him for all that time, you know that not only has he been a positive force on the moto vlogging community, he's also been constantly involved with uh, volunteer activities, charity activities, animal rescue. He's just like, he's, at the bottom line is he's a good guy. He doesn't always... You know, he, maybe his personality is a little abrasive, maybe you don't agree with all of his opinions, but ultimately he's a selfless, kind, compassionate guy who wants to help people. So that's awesome. And I think that that kind of a guy, you know, somebody who is willing to put that kind of effort, that kind of selfless effort into helping others deserves to get a little bit of, you know, something back, a little bit of karma when he turns out to be the one who needs the help. So I know a lot of people are contributing to help him out financially, making donations to his PayPal account. So I'll post up a link to his uh, address where you can send him a little bit of cash if you can afford to do that. Uh, if not, at least, like the least you can do is go to his page, let him know he's in your thoughts, in your prayers, if that's your kind of thing. Uh, just let him know that we are behind him because he's done so much for us and I think that now that he's the one who's hard up, uh, 
it's not a bad idea for us to kind of turn around and help him out when he needs it. So uh, I haven't gotten into the details of what actually happened. Uh, I don't think I need to. He has done that uh, himself. Like I said, he's well enough to make his own Facebook post, his own YouTube video about the incident. So I will post up links to those as well so you can go check them out. You can see what happened for yourself. I don't want to be the one to tell his story. He can, you can hear it from him. But yeah, like I said, I think uh, it's a good time to maybe give a little something back because he really needs it right now. Still got a family to feed, all that good stuff. So uh, yeah, M13, if you happen to stumble across this video, uh, good luck to you. We're behind you all the way. Uh, it doesn't matter if you're making motorcycle videos or not, we're still behind you. We support you and we thank you for everything you've done. So it's gonna get noisy here in a second. Yeah, if I keep going on talking to this point, I'm just going to start sort of talking myself in circles. So we'll just sign off here. But uh, yeah, do consider helping this guy out because uh, I think there's a pretty good chance that uh, if it wasn't for him, there might not even be a moto vlogging community. And even if there were, it would be something different than what it is today. So, so again, uh, thank you, Mordeth, for everything you've done. Uh, thanks, everybody, for watching, and uh, I will catch you guys later.